In this video, we're going to talk about the bulk updates function. Bulk update, first of all, can be found under the tools menu. Right here, second one, bulk update. Bulk update is can be utilized when you need to update multiple records uh, with the same thing, um, you know, basically eliminating the need for you guys to have to go into each specific record making the same exact change over and over and over. An example that I'm going to use is with sales reps. Maybe a particular list of contacts that belongs to a firm is currently tied to one sales rep, but that sales rep is being relieved and we need to tie a new sales rep to all of the contacts within that firm. So instead of you know saying the, the firm had 50 attorneys, 50 contacts there, and going into individually each 50 of those contacts and changing the sales rep, we can use bulk update to do it in one shot. Now, how does this actually work? First of all, in the entities dropdown, you can bulk update firms, contacts, resources, locations, and jobs. There's a set number of fields that you can actually update. So depending on what you need, take a look here and, and hopefully you find what you need. So in my example, we're gonna do contacts. We're gonna update all contacts belonging to a firm. And we're gonna choose the field to update. So if you pull this drop down, you're gonna see a list of the actual fields that are available for you to bulk update. In my example, we're going to choose sales rep. And in the set value to field, this is the actual data that you're gonna select that you're going to be changing that particular field to. Okay, so setting it to. So we're going to click look up resource and I'm going to type in part of my new sales rep name. It's going to be Mr. David Sales. I'm going to select them and then click next. So here we're going to actually decide, okay, well, who are we actually updating? Where are we going to set David Sells to? Well, like I said, we're going to set David Sells to all of the contacts belonging to a specific firm. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right here and we're going to go Bergsteiner. Search. Okay. And now this came up with 50 records. So there's 50 contacts tied to the Bergsteiner Chapman Law Firm. And you can see the sales rep field right here. And what I want to do is I'm going to change that sales rep now in bulk. So we're going to check the top left box to select everybody. And we're going to click update. Operation was successful. So now David Sells is now the sales rep, as you can see, instead of Jason Yee. Now that leads me to another thing now. So let's say we did that. And now I kind of think, well, just because I did that at the contact level, what about my jobs? Uh, what about the jobs I already scheduled? And uh, going forward, I need to make sure that David Sells is tied to those. And actually, this should have taken effect back on January 1st. So what we can do is we can actually go Entity, Jobs, and choose the field to update. We'll select Sales Rep. And again, we're going to set the value to David Sales. For all of Bergsteiner's jobs for this year, because we want to make sure we backtrack and go forward and set Mr. David Sells instead of Jason. So we're going to go to the beginning of the year. And to make sure that I'm catching everything going forward, I'm going to go ahead and go to the end of the year as well. Where the ordering firm is Berg Steiner. Hit the lookup. Berg Steiner. Now we're going to click search. This will pull up 89 jobs for the Berg Steiner law firm. You can actually see the sales rep still set to Jason. So I'm going to update that. Now we're going to mass update that to David Sales. So we're going to check the top left box to check all and then click update. And you're going to see the data change on the screen again. There you go, David Sells. So that's utilizing bulk updates. 